Hey everyone, I want to do a short video going over if you have a electrostatic air cleaner and you've been getting rapid arcing sounds just like that but rapidly non-stop then I want to shoot a quick video for you to kind of help you out and find out uh, some of the fixes for this. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to shut off your cleaner then you want to open your door and inside you're going to have have two cells you want to pull those out i'm only going to pull the one out just to demonstrate and inside you can see this is your odor there's about three of these these clean odor any kind of smells um cigarette smoke things like that that's your cleaner there you want to these are you can't clean these you have to replace them let me just pull them out real quickly there have a carbon filter don't know if you can see that kind of looks kind of black these can't be cleaned the moment you wash these they're no good so you have to replace these probably uh, go on to Amazon and make uh, Jeff Bezos richer by ordering in there is probably the easiest way uh, to get those unless you have a local supplier there's three of them you kind of space them out. Don't put them side by side. So if I zoom in, don't put them side by side like that. Kind of space them out a little bit so that there's a little gap. So they cover the general fan, which is back through there. As you can see, there's my other cell in the back. These ones here are other filters. You pull these out. I'll just move this out of the way. Sorry, I don't like editing, so I am not going to edit so I excuse, please excuse me for any of the uh, mistakes I make, might make throughout this recording. This is washable. So you want to wash this as well as the cells. You can put them in a dishwasher, believe it or not, and wash them that way. Or you can do it the way I do it, which is to go out and get probably one of the best cleaners. And I'm not sponsored by this at all. The Dax cleaner. This is the uh, four liter bottle and get one of these off of Amazon as well and put it in a spray bottle and what you want to do is spray this filter front and back and then soak it in hot water maybe in your laundry tub and alongside that you want to spray each and every one of these cells this is where a lot of the problems are coming from. A lot of dust, and I'll just flip it over to the other side, excuse the video again. A lot of the dust gets trapped on these cells. And if you're not cleaning these cells, I would say every quarter, so every three, four months, I would say every three months, you need to clean this. Or if you have a lot of dust in your house, uh, a lot of traffic, I would say once a month, you need to wash this. So spray them with the Dax, and then set the set the cell along with the filter inside your laundry tub or if you have a large sink but let's get to the main issue here is you've been you've been getting a snapping sound and you have no idea where that's coming from it's coming from these cells get dirt and debris on them if they haven't been maintained what you're going to do is you're going to get an emery board right just a regular old file and you're going to begin to file lightly each and every one of these cells up and down all the way across yes it's gonna take a long time it's gonna take about because you're doing both so it's gonna take about maybe a half hour but not heavily just very lightly go across each one at the top and at the bottom all the way across all the way across be careful of the very fine wire that's right here. See that wire? Be careful you don't break that wire. Okay? Uh, and you're just going to go across each one. Now, let me. I'm jumping ahead here. What you need to do, first of all, is wash this. Wash it with the DAX first. Then, before you put it back in, make sure it's completely dry. So, what I like to do is I like to put it in uh, and just let... Turn, don't turn this button on yet. Just let the regular air um, 
mode on your uh, furnace, stay on and let it dry. It. it takes, I would say about 10 hours. So do it, go to work, come back, it should be dry. Then when you get home, turn it on, okay? If you still hear the snapping sound, then you need to go and try what I'm telling you to do here, which is to go in and each one of these cells, deburr it, take any debris off each one, and that should fix the problem. Uh, it worked for me, I hope it works for you, but just thought I'd give you a quick video on how to uh, remedy this problem that not a lot of people talk about on how to fix. Once again, slide it right in. The other piece, so before I leave, the other piece, these two, three contacts, there is a copper, let me just pull this back out, maybe you can see it. Once again, sorry, this video is very crude. Right here, there they are. See that? These are copper connections that contact these points here. What I like to do is you can take a very light um, piece of um, steel wool or um, just something that has a little abrasion on it and just lightly rub these off as well just to make sure. I don't have any kind of uh, contact solution to rub it on, but I just used a little bit of steel wool just to make sure there's nothing, any residue from washing left on there. So rub those off as well and then just take it and slide it back into its uh, section. All right, anyways, put the door back on and then turn the switch back on. All right, hope that helps. Take care.